drove into Los Angeles. And there was the Hollywood Landmark Hotel. A girl called me over and said she was Janis Joplin. She introduced me to Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix said, are you Jewish? And I said, yeah. He said, you should be a manager. I said, great, no problem. Who should I manage? Alice Cooper. <laughs> the word mensch and Shep are synonymous. He is a protector. He keeps the wolf from the door. If somebody asked me who invented the celebrity chef, Shep Gordon, I'd spend my life making people famous. Shep is the quintessential manager. He wrote the book, and everybody else is reading from it. The three most important things a manager does. Get the money. To always remember to get the money. Never forget to always remember to get the money. <laughs> let's invent something new that nobody's ever seen before, and let's stick with it. We tried to do as many outrageous things as we could. Let's do shows for women only. Everybody went wild. No matter what this was, you would navigate us through this rough passage. I was so over my head. There's nothing about fame that I've ever seen that's healthy. The ones who rose to the top got hurt the worst. I felt the stress of LA, the culture of what you are, not who you are. I had spent my life living other people's lives. And I wanted to see what my life was. I never really developed a family. Growing up, I never had a friend over. I'm more than making up for it. Chef Gordon is the nicest person I've ever met, hands down. What's really important for me is to do compassionate business. What I call using coupons. Paying someone back, doing something for you that they didn't have to do. There aren't winners and losers. There's only winners. And the journey began. He is the nexus for everybody that means anything. They all end up in Maui in Chef's Kitchen. Loving everything. It's never about what you want. He tells the best stories. I have told Chef things I haven't told anybody else. Not even my wife.